hello how to solve this problem x squared minus x cubed equals to 12 from here let's take 12 to this side and this become x squared minus x cubed then minus 12 plus comes here become minus then equals to 0 and also we can split this you know minus 12 and uh, we have x squared minus x cubed minus 4 minus 8 equals to 0 minus 4 minus 8 is same thing as minus 12 and from here we can express 4 and 8 to a power as well so this becomes x squared minus x cube then minus 2 square minus 2 cube equals to 0 2 square is 4 and 2 cube is 8 then from here, let's group the power of 2 together and the power of 3 together. We have x squared minus 2 squared, then minus into brackets. We take minus out and we are going to have x cube, then plus now 2 cube equals to 0. Because of this minus, we have paired this and it will become minus. Then from here, we can use the identity that we have. The first one is difference of 2 square here. When we have a square minus b square. So this same thing as a plus b. Then multiply by a minus b. And similarly, for this one, we can use sum of 2 cube. That is, when we have a cube plus b cube. This same thing as a plus b. Then multiply by a square minus a b plus b squared and then when we apply that here for this x square minus 2x this will become x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 2 then minus for s cube plus 2 cube now we are going to have x plus 2 then times x squared that's a squared that's x squared minus a b that's 2x then plus b squared that's 2 squared that's plus 4 2 squared is 4 then equals to 0 and then from here we have x plus 2 x plus 2 common let's take it out and factor it we have x plus 2 now out of the bracket and what is left here is x minus 2 then we have x minus 2 left here then minus what is left here is this quadratic equation which is x square minus 2x plus 4 then close bracket equals to 0 then from here we can still simplify this fraction this bracket rather we have x plus 2 from here then we have x minus 2, then use minus 2 from this bracket, that will be minus x squared, then plus 2x minus this minus become plus, then minus 4, which is equals to 0. And from here, see we can simplify this, and we have x plus 2, then multiply by, let's write x squared first, that's minus x squared, then x plus 2x that's plus 3x then minus 2 minus 4 that's minus 6 then equals to 0 now here we have two possible cases the first being x plus 2 equals to 0 and the second being minus x squared plus 3x minus 6 equals to 0 from here we take Two to this side and we have x equals to minus 2 this is one of the value of x and from here we solve for the other value of x here we have minus let's multiply through by minus and this become x squared then minus 3x plus 6 equals to 0 so we have written this again by multiplying through by minus and from here we mix of the quadratic formula so here x equals to b is minus 3, that's minus b minus minus 3 plus or minus square root of b square minus 3 square then minus.
plus 4a is 1, then c is 6, then over 2a, that's 2 times 1. And then when we solve this from here, we have x to be equals to minus times minus is plus. That's 3 plus or minus. We have product of minus 3 is 3, 9. Then minus 4 times 6, that's 24 over 2. Then solving this, we have x equals to 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 24, that's minus 15. A minus 15 can be written as root minus 15 can be written as root 15r. Then over 2. So here we have two other complex solutions, imaginary solution here. And then if this is the first solution here, which is x equals to minus 2, then the two other solutions the second solution here we say 3 plus root 15i over 2 and the third we have x equals to 3 minus root 15i over 2 and here we have come to the end of the problem also don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for access to more of our videos we say thank you and also give this video a share. Also put your comment and we appreciate it. See you in the next class and bye for now.